Shift 2 is a follow-on from Shift 1's proposition of the true driver's experience, and we're building on that even further with the driver battle and immersing one more step inside that revolutionary cockpit cam with the helmet cam. And the helmet cam is now giving the player a view through the eyes of the race driver, and it really is in tapping into our race drivers, engaging them early and often, really uh, refining this experience of what it feels like, sounds like, and is like in inside that helmet each, uh, each time that driver battle is happening in the grid and especially uh, that driver battle with themselves at night which is exemplified in our all new night driving mode um, through brand new innovations from Slightly Mad Studios in rendering and lighting and damage model um, night racing changes the game entirely with the dynamic shadows that are cast multi-point uh, lighting sources and especially the full damage mode supported in a full simulation mode. We're now uh, relying heavily on uh, collisions to uh, keep your headlights on and certainly faulting the pack to see the contours on the road, especially on the uh, darkest parts of the back of uh, English countrysides in Brand Hatch or French countrysides in the back parts of Spa. Um, that helmet cam is really playing up the visual elements of uh, being a driver battling in the grid, but certainly through uh, Autolog now we're playing up the social competition of uh, competitive track-based racing and Autolog is now Need for Speed DNA integrated in a perfect marriage with Shift 2 Unleashed. Um, your career progression is assisted through an all-new performance customization mechanic and it really is the driver level progression which is unlocking performance attributes, uh, performance additions to your car. Uh, through cash rewards you're getting enough money to afford those. You're being uh, allowed to now do complete engine swaps, uh, suspension, uh, full tuning and testing and iterating and saving performance tuning for each track and each car, especially for online competition. Um, so through the leveling up of your driver uh, level, you're now also leveling up the capabilities of your car. And over the course of the career, you're building up cars which are specific to the, the career branches. So for a drift career branch, you may build up a S13 uh, Nissan platform. Uh, team's need for speeds representation around the globe in uh, motorsport is really reflected directly into Shift's career design. And as such, we have now over 120 cars that we're introducing in Shift 2, which represent very iconic, classic versions of cars that are represented in car culture in each of these disciplines, as well as retro machines, uh, super machines, uh, which we've become popular for, as well as GT3 and GT1 full-blown race car machines. Well, online isn't something we're talking about in detail today, but Autolog is certainly our social network for racing, and it, and it really is an accumulation of a bunch of different pieces that used to be uh, represented in other aspects. We're tying all together into one nerve center. So now, instead of having to look for uh, leaderboards and understand who's setting records where, Autolog's now giving you a very easy way to get to that information per track, see a regional leaderboard record, or see a world leaderboard record set, even in the load screens. We're surfacing data, which is incentivized players and inciting that social competition of online racing even further by always making the, the carrot, if you will, present to the player. They see who's setting the world record, uh, they see what they have to do to beat it, and likewise as they're setting world records, that information is being surfaced to the world via Automotive.